Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host, Lukander Kumar, and today we're going to discuss about lobules. Here, as you can see, I have designed the structure of the lobule, which is the building block of the lever. If you have seen my previous video, then this video is going to help you to understand the lobule. In my previous video, I have discussed the structure of lever as well as uh, the functions of liver. And uh, in this video, I'm going to cover the building block of liver tissue, which is lobule. And as you can see here, we will go deep into the cellular structure or cellular organization of the liver lobule. So I hope this video is going to help you to understand liver at the cellular level and uh, I hope that you have seen my previous video where, as you can see uh, on this slide, I have discussed the structure of the liver as well as the function of the liver. I encourage you to watch that video first before you watch this particular video which is on liver lobule. Before starting this video, I do uh, want to discuss the function of liver the function, important function of the liver includes detoxification, conversion of ammonia to urea, protein synthesis, and also storage of glucose as glycogen. Liver also helps in making bile, and we all know that bile helps in the breakdown of the fat molecules. And then another function of the liver is to store fat-soluble vitamins, which are a, D, E, K. So we have discussed these uh, important functions in, in our previous video. And in this video, as I've already discussed, that we're going to uh, go or dig deep into the cellular ar architecture of the liver. So as you can see here, I have designed the individual components that I'm going to show you one by one. And then I have all these labels and important components. And we're also going to discuss the uh, individual functions related to these uh, different uh, components of the liver lobule, right? So let's start with liver. So here, this is the structure of the liver, as you can see, and I have already discussed in my previous video, you have blood vessels going deep, going deep into the liver tissue, and it is important because you have uh, different blood vessels and you need oxygenated and you need a system to take care of the deoxygenated blood so you have this uh, blood vessel system which is running in the liver tissue and then you can see here you have uh, the gallbladder that stores the bile and we have also discussed the functions i will not go deep into that in this video right now let's minimize this structure or make it smaller because we're going to go uh, deep into the liver tissue. So suppose I am trying to show you some part of the liver, maybe right here. What is happening here is uh, basically there is a structural organization at cellular level that is, um, I would say, is very systematic and because of that, liver can perform its function. And here, what you have is the lobules. We all know that liver has lobes. I'm not talking about lobes. Lobes is divided, sorry, lobes are divided into segments and then segments are further divided in, into the lobules. So I have a schematic representation of the lobule here. As you can see, this is a kind of a geometric shape. And I'm sure that you know that this is not going to be the case in case of the, especially in the, in the liver tissue, it's not going to be so geometric. So what is happening here, I'm just showing you the organization of the liver lobule. Ideally, the structure is like this here. So let me make this structure almost uh, equal to that. 
and you can see here uh, in in the picture which is on the right side you have cells these cells are hepatocytes i have mentioned here then you have central vein a hollow structure that i mentioned here then you have these different uh, other vessels which are running through this right so this is uh, the the structural organization of the liver lobule so i can say that these structures when they are repeated they are going to construct the liver tissue so as you can see here i have made another illustration and showed that how they are organized they are connected to each other and to explain it better i have another illustration that shows you this is how this lobule is actually it's going to be inside the liver so I'm gonna minimize these uh, structure so that I can have the space and I'm also gonna label these structures before we move ahead so as you can see here this uh, structure represents something like that and then this is uh, the arrangement of the lobule here and further then you have the arrangement as well as uh, the diagrammatic representation of the cellular organization of the liver lobule so you can see I have uh, you know combined this uh, structure with this uh, by just putting this cellular structure on top of each of these liver lobules right so let's start by by labeling these uh, structures so i'm gonna move this and put it here so this is our lever and then i'm basically zoom in to this particular region i'm just just saying that i'm just zooming into the cellular level of the uh, the lever showing you uh, some uh, small section of the liver tissue now what are these and these are liver lobules here and what is lobule and this is the building block of the liver which is uh, lobule so that uh, I have mentioned here this is also this top uh, region of the lobule and you can see the cellular organization this looks better and here you can see it's it's, it's really big so basically this is the central region and I've already mentioned you this is the schematic so don't take my word for it that it looks exactly like that and in my previous video, I've also also mentioned that all these structures, they are all diagrammatic, schematic, and they are not exactly going to look like this. It's more complex than uh, this um, structure that you're seeing, these structures that you're seeing on your screen right now. But as you can see here, it's pretty clear you have liver tissue and when we zoom in you'll have the organization like that and the surface of the lobule will look like this when you do the histology of the liver you will be able to see these structures but they will not not look exactly like this and single lobule will look something like that and when we zoom in for example some uh, taking just some region of uh, this maybe like a slice of that how that will look like it will look like this so I have already designed this particular organized cellular organization and so that I can explain you and I save time otherwise it's gonna take me so much time to just design and uh, this individual structure right and I have arrow to show the flow of the components that are present in these regions so it will be very easy for you to understand this now let's discuss the cellular organization I'll start with the bile ductile so bile ductile is basically composed of two words right bile and ductile bile is the important component that helps in the fat degradation that I've already mentioned and I have shown the bile ductile in the green color here okay and you can see here the hepatocytes these are the hepatocytes they are producing bile bile is going inside the bile ductile and ductile is basically smaller duct smaller tube 
same in, in this case here, you're calling lobule and then you have lobes, right? The smaller you go, terminology is going to change. So bile duct is going to become bile ductule here at the cellular level, right? So you can see here you have bile ductule that is collecting bile from, from the hepatocytes. Now what is next? Next is the branch of the portal vein. We already discussed what is the importance of portal system, hepatic portal system. The role is to basically collect blood which is coming from the intestine, uh, intestine region. That's why I have colored this as slightly yellowish and this is basically coming from the abdominal aorta and uh, it's basically the hepatic artery. So in, from the abdominal aorta, which is shown in red here, it you have another blood vessel, which is the hepatic artery. And then it gets branched further and further. And then you have this, the branch of hepatic artery, artery. And you can see here it's in red because the blood is oxygenated so that you can remember this. And it's not yellow basically in the uh, original structure or, or in case of the liver and our human liver or any other uh, liver tissue of any other animal it's not going to be yellow i'm just trying to show you that you have various uh, components that are coming from the intestine nutrients are coming from there molecules are coming from there so the job of liver is to you know, process that blood. In the in this case, you don't have all those uh, those components. It's the the blood which is oxygenated coming to the liver. So you can see here the flow is in this direction, and for the bile, you can see the flow is in this direction, and all the the blood that is coming here is uh, going from this region to the central region. So why don't I first label this region which is central vein here. Right? So you have central vein. So before we discuss the sinusoids and the hepatocytes, let me mention you that the liver lobules they are basically also known as hepatic lobules they are smaller division or the units of liver and also known as building block of the liver tissue okay and next i have already discussed what is the bile ductule it's a small bile duct it's a it's a long tube and its function is to carry the bile and then we have discussed the hepatic portal system it's it's the venous system that carries blood right and its job is to deliver the blood to the liver so that it can get processed and then we have already discussed the common hepatic artery and and basically it is uh, coming from the abdominal aorta okay now let's move on to the liver sinusoid the liver sinusoid is this region or that region uh, here that you're seeing in green color okay so what is a sinusoid sinusoid is basically it's a capillary and you can also call it as a sinusoidal capillary and it's it has basically the a, the endothelium which is discontinuous okay and it's its role is to mix the blood as you can see here also it's very easy now to understand its function uh, that it's mixing the blood which is coming from the portal system and uh, which is coming from the hepatic artery and it's getting mixed in the sinusoidal region and we have already discussed it's a type of capillary and it's endothelium it's discontinuous okay now I'm gonna put a label here uh, for this region and then the most important component of the liver tissue which is hepatocytes here these guys which is uh, which are arranged in a in a row like structure and you can also see i have some empty space i think i was uh, lazy enough to leave that leave that space 
while I was designing because it was taking so much time. In real life scenario, I'm telling you that uh, this is not going to be the case and you'll have this region packed with the hepatocytes. Okay, after watching this video, I will recommend you to you know see the structure of the lever you can google search you can read books you can uh, and read research articles review articles on this particular topic hepatic lobule histology of the hepatic lobule and you will immediately be able to recognize all these structures all right now we have discussed the uh, the the structure of the hepatocytes here and what is the role of the hepatocytes Hepatocytes are the main functional cells of the liver. Okay, and their function is amazing. They perform endocrine, metabolic, and secretory functions. And approximately 80% of the mass of the liver, 80 percent, is hepatocyte. So basically, the main liver tissue is composed of the hepatocytes. They are the functional they are the guys that are basically performing all the work that needs to be done in liver and i also want to mention that the blood is coming from the intestinal region so it will have it it might have some of the components that we don't want into our circulatory system like microbial products bacteria right to defend ourselves from, from such things, we have kufr cells. And the role of these cells is basically defend the liver from the attack of the microbial components as well as from the live microorganisms. So basically, they are the part of the immune system. We'll discuss uh, maybe in a different video about the defense mechanism inside the liver that that could be an interesting topic we can also discuss how kufur cells they they perform their function but here uh, i will just conclude this video where i have discussed uh, the the, uh, the major components of uh, major component of the liver which is liver lobule so i hope now you have a clear idea you have a clear picture that how the liver tissue is organized and how these blood vessels and the branches of these blood vessels are running inside the liver okay and uh, i hope you are well aware of the functions of the liver and uh, and you also know the function of these uh, cellular components i will see you in my next video where we will discuss where we will discuss new topic, we will, we will discuss interesting topics related to biosciences, related to microbiology, related to physiology. As you can see here, I have uh, designed this particular lecture, which belongs to animal physio physiology or anatomy, you can say. But I do want to make a lot of other videos that are going to give you the molecular details. What is the biochemistry that is happening inside the liver? So I want you to stay tuned and watch those videos as well. They, they are going to help you in your studies. And uh, I hope that this, this video is also, also helpful for you to understand the topic. So I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care.